And welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Rock Lee. He appears to be a Protoss player. He is ranked 68th in his Platinum division. He is he has 610 points with a record of 49 and 44. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the north northeast up against Rock Lee. He is Protoss. He is red in the southwest. The map is Delta Quadrant. So this is a, a spawning, um, spawning locations that I would assume would be ideal for the long macro game. Um, of course, I, I don't know if you caught that. That SCV did spawn down here because I forgot to queue him up to go there. Um, I do micro um, my first couple uh, SCVs because really I have nothing better to do. Um, you know, just send it, telling them which patch to go to, I send them to the patch that doesn't have anybody, I, and then I you know, send them to one in the middle. And that is what puts my APM at 20, baby. Oh, you know you're jealous of the 20 APM. He is going for a scout. He went to the wrong spot. I don't have my scout out yet. There he goes. So we aren't going to be seeing anything too crazy yet. How do I know? Because the pylon's up and he has nothing left um, to, to build. Just getting out there now to build the gateway. Um, I have noticed that my uh, my barracks is late later than it should be. I should be sending my uh, SCV out before I get 150 minerals. Uh, but instead I send them out once that... 150 is done and here I'm following this probe like a hawk because I have not seen a photon cannon rush I was actually talking with uh, my cousin about that recently he's like you know I still get all these photon cannon rushes he's still in the bronze ladder I feel bad for him because there is a ton of cheese in the bronze ladder that will keep you there a long time um, so he you know he's like oh I have no answer for it and so he's he says that he scans around his base constantly um, until he gets um, something to spot the, the, the front there. So I followed that probe because I am scared of the photon cannon rush because I, you know, I figured that I jinxed it by, by talking about it and saying that I didn't have anybody do it to me in a long time. And here I completely fail to get my gas up in time. So this is normally the point when a reactor would go down right now. It's already late and, you know, I have four gas. Uh, I had no gas by the time it was up and the Marine was out. He is keeping a probe at the Zelnaga Tower. That is great play. I'm actually keeping my SCV in his base a long time because I don't, um, well, I don't usually do that, but it gets a lot of scouting done. And here I go through his base. He's able to get two shots off. Through the mineral lines, I should say. And the SCVs did not pull off to try to attack it. The Zealot is out. He is not chasing my SCV. He should be. Um, he's doing a pretty good block off here. Almost as if it was there. You know, a couple Zealots probably could, um, on hold position, hold that down and do uh, some good damage. He is chrono boosting the warp gate, no surprises there. And my SCV is, oh, he was on the way out, but one shot from the stalker and one shot from the zealot will defeat him. Orbital command is up, getting marines and marauders. Uh, don't have enough gas for, for stim pack because that gas was so late. So I'm going for an early uh, second refinery just because I have no gas left. Um, Meanwhile, he is going for two more gateways and his second gas. Uh, so we are going to be seeing three gate. So yeah, he's he's still on three gate. He does have enough for a fourth gate, but it looks like he's going to be sticking with ah uh, three gates robo. Another pretty standard build from Protoss players. Uh, of course, the robo will be instrumental in taking out these marauders, whatever he gets out of it. Unless it's Observer. Observers do not attack against uh, Marauders very well. I don't know if you guys know that. So I wanted to point that out. Uh, don't get an Observer if you're hoping that it'll defeat a Marauder. The more you learn. So a Sentry is out as well. Those guys are so gas heavy. What are they? Like 100, 200? No, 5,100. 
Uh, so they're cheaper than I thought, but it's still two to one ratio there. Robotics facility is on the w is finished now. What will he be getting out of it? Nothing apparently. Uh, I am moving out with a small force here. It is. I don't know what I was thinking. I was kind of thinking, oh, I produced a ton of a, a lot of units. I need to go out there, but I didn't produce a ton of units. I produced 900 and 125. Uh, that is not a ton. Uh, a ton would be 2,000. Yay, I can do math. Um, today's been a, a, a strange day. Um, I, I did finish my Christmas shopping. It's actually the 20th? No, tw 19th still. Well, I guess it's the morning, so technically it's the, the, the 20th. He is going to be getting an immortal out of his robotics facility. Um... And actually, it's been raining here, and people freak out here when it rains. Oh my god. Um, they're saying seven inches. To be fair, that is that is going to cause a flood here. I do. Li for those of you who don't know, I do live in Anaheim, California. You were seeing him just completely wipe out my army. Nothing left. Uh, do you guys want to see the health bars during fights? I, I haven't been showing them in previous videos. I think I showed them one that I recorded earlier today. Um, but let me know. Um, I'll show them when there's a few um, a few guys there. That's that's what I'm planning on doing with it right now. Is that I need, um, you know, if it's just a couple guys fighting, um, I'll show it. But if, you know, it's a massive amount of army, you can tell how the army's doing because all of a sudden you'll see people just dropping like flies. So I figured I wouldn't show it then. Um, he is going for a counterattack, but like I said about the rain, seven inches. Um, for those of you who don't know what inches are... Oh, counterattack right inside my base. Um, let's see, seven inches would be about 15 to 20 centimeters. You know, it's not that much, it's, it's a... It's, but it's a lot by standards of what we get here. Now I am able to hold this off. I do see the Immortal. So I know that he's not going for air. And neither one of us is producing anything, which is awful. Just, just awful. He was able to take out my reactor, though. So I do have a small excuse for that. He does have a proxy pylon up. Um, I don't know if I want to call that proxy because it's not... It, I mean, it's relatively close to my base. Um, but it's not absolutely far away either. Um, I'm trying to take out the destructible debris. That's why I was out of position and he was able to take out that reactor and do some harassment on my barracks. 